Today, we're going to be talking about fighting. Fighting legit changed my life. Specifically, I'm going to be talking to you all about boxing and why men should learn to fight. Really, not just men. Everyone should learn to fight. Now, I'm not saying this from a standpoint of getting into a street fight, but I'm speaking from a standpoint of being able to protect yourself, being able to have a certain type of fitness level that's going to let you get through certain workouts. And also, if you're ever in a situation to where you need to defend yourself just enough to even get away, you will be more than prepared for that. I started boxing serious at the age of 33. A lot of people told me, hey, you're too old. That's too late in life. But I told them, do not put your limitations on me. So I took boxing very serious from December 2021 up until now. Not training for any fights at the moment, but I am still training with a coach and on my own. Now, some ways that boxing has helped me tremendously. First things first is going to be confidence. So I came from a background of doing bodybuilding, training strictly for aesthetics. Now, going into the boxing gym and training for those first couple of months, it was a very humbling experience because I thought I was fit. But when you step inside that boxing gym, it is a completely different ball game. And you realize that being fit has a completely different meaning. It's not just about looks. It's about being able to form. It's about being able to perform as well. Now, in addition to that confidence, it also helped me with other people that I would go around and they find out, hey, you box. So then they either want to train with you or, you know, it's a certain type of respect people have for others. They know that are willing to do combat sports because it takes a lot of heart to do it. Like I always say, anybody that's willing to step in that ring or even if it's stepping on a mat, stepping in the octagon, I have the ultimate respect for them because that takes a lot of courage and a lot of heart. Now, from a physical fitness standpoint, it is the hardest workout that I have ever done. Now, I've trained at the gym with NFL athletes, retired NFL athletes, former NBA players, and everyone says that boxing is the hardest thing that they've ever done. So if these are professional athletes saying this, then I'm, I'm like, okay, I know I'm not in the minority here. So if you're looking for a great overall workout, it doesn't have to be to fight, doesn't have to be to compete, you don't have to spar, but I highly recommend boxing because it's going to, one, be a full body workout. You're going to get your cardio in, your conditioning, and you're going to get your strength in, strength training in from hitting that bag and also doing your calisthenics, which is things that I like to implement during the classes that I teach. So people think, hey, boxing gym is going to be intimidating. That's not the case at all. I've been to way more commercial gyms where people walk around and are way less friendly than I have boxing gyms at any fighting gym that I've been to. Everyone has been nice and more than willing to help you shorten your learning curve by helping you working with you doing maybe light sparring, drilling, all types of things like that. So don't be intimidated just from the sound of, oh, it's a fighting gym. So the gym that I'm at, you know, it has that friendly boxing fitness environment, but it's also times where it's days where it's sparring and things like that. So, you know, with boxing, there are many different things that you can do. Now, the mental discipline that it takes. This was, I would say, the most difficult thing for me because I'm already a very disciplined person, but the discipline that boxing takes is like you legit if you're going to take boxing serious, your life has to revolve around boxing if you want to get better. So that means weekends, it's no going out, partying, having fun with your friends. Now, if you do that, then it's going to show 
during your training and you're really just wasting your time, you're wasting your coach's time, and you're wasting money. With boxing, you can't cheat boxing. I'm sure you all have heard many professionals say that, but that is extremely true. This is a sport you cannot cheat or you're going to get exposed. Now, it forced me to be disciplined by waking up, getting my runs in, doing my training every day, except one day I was training every day except for Sunday. But if I had a fight coming up, uh, I've had one exhibition and one amateur fight. If I had a fight coming up, then on Sundays I would have to get in either shadow boxing or a light run. So some weeks I would be working out seven days a week. Now, the discipline that this builds, the, the thing is, once I was no longer in any fight camps, I would still be up early and then it's allowing me to put my focus towards something else or being able to work on something. But in the past tasks that would seem difficult for me to get done, maybe it was just procrastination on my point, on my part. But after boxing, everything is just like, I'm way more disciplined, way more organized. And I don't look at any task as being difficult or nearly impossible. That comes with not just from a working out standpoint, just from a living standpoint. You know, I was, I experienced the death of three family members this year, three grandparents at that. And boxing legit is one of the things that was able to keep me going because it allowed me to stay disciplined to continue my training. And although I was mourning the loss of those family members, still mourning the loss of them, boxing helped me to have the proper mindset to be able to deal with that and still be able to make it through fight camp and then make it to my fight where I was able to get a knockout in my USA boxing debut. So with boxing, that's honestly going to be my favorite martial art. I have tried Muay Thai before. I'll, maybe if this video, if you all are interested in kind of like my journey to boxing, maybe I'll do that in a future video. So you all can let me know that down in the comment section below. And just one last thing about boxing, it's going to be great for stress relief. Now, there's nothing like being able to go in and just hit a bag, let your stress out. It's phenomenal. Yeah, you're going to get tired, but some days you just need that. You need that release to where you're going, just unleashing on the bag. So please let me know if you all have any questions about anything fitness related. It could be boxing related, non-boxing related, anything about nutrition. Whatever questions you have, please feel free to reach out. Please like this video if you found it to be helpful. Also subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps the channel to grow and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.